Hello, today I would like to show you how to properly apply lens distortion removal effect in Adobe Premiere Pro to achieve results like this. It can look similar to Real Steady Go, Real Lens Distortion Correction, or it can also be used as GoPro Super View Effect Alternative. How to do it? You will need to import your clips into Premiere Pro. Now create a new sequence. So go to File, New and Sequence. And the sequence needs to be bigger than your clips. So it has to have bigger resolution. My clips are 2.7K 4x3. So I will want to create something bigger than that. So for example, 4K, 4000 by 3000. In settings, you can uh, select in editing mode, go to the top, select custom, uh, select your frame rate, which is 29.97 for GoPro. Select square pixels. And that's it then input your resolution. I will go with 4K, 4x3. The aspect ratio is important. That's the aspect ratio you will export your video. And when you're done, just uh, save the preset. N input some name. And now you should be able to find it in custom folder in sequence presets. So double click it and that should create a sequence. Uh, drag and drop your videos into it uh, and select keep existing settings. The video now should have uh, these black bars all around them. That's what we want to apply our effect without losing field of view. So now click on Control A to select all clips and right click them and select nest uh, ok and this should create from our clips one uh, green clip which can we now apply the lens correction effect so just type in lens and scroll down to find gopro profiles i like to use the hero 3 plus black because there's uh, most settings I think uh, and you now only want to apply a preset with the right aspect ratio so 1080 is 16 by 9 and 1440p is 4 by 3 and the field of view you will want to use preferably the wide field of view so I have 4x3 video, so I can drag and drop this 1440p profile and as you can see it doesn't crop the video, it just uh, corrects the curvature of the video. Uh, you can adjust this in effects tab. So for example I want it like this. And now to remove these black uh, parts you, you just scale it up. like this let's say uh, when adjusting it's also good to have seen where you can see the horizon so you can mm, adjust how much you want to straighten up the horizon uh, this is about right for me as you can see you will lost few pixels but that's necessary and it's much much less drastic than without uh, this method so yes that's about it and thank you for watching All